hello students in this video i am going to discuss about static indeterminacy of a structure but before that let me discuss this structure the structure is an assembly of various structural elements and the assembly is done in such a manner that the desired function gets served the primary function of every structure is to receive the loads at certain positions and to distribute these loads to some other points for an example in case of building frame the occupancy loads are received at certain positions and along with the self weights of the various members of the structure the loads are transferred to the underlying soil through foundations the safety of a structure depends upon the adequate functioning of the structural elements the safety and adequate functioning of structural elements can be ensured only through structural analysis now the question is what is the structural analysis if somebody asks you to analyze a certain structure what you are supposed to do now when any structure is to be analyzed you are supposed to work out or work out first the reactions at the supports second the internal forces in various members now these internal forces include axial forces shear forces bending moments and twisting moment and the third one is the displacement components at the joints so structural analysis includes calculations of reactions or determination of reactions at the supports determination of internal forces and determination of displacement components out of these three first two that is reactions at the supports and internal forces in the members are associated with the statical indeterminacy of the structure whereas the third one that is determination of displacement components is related with the kinematic indeterminacy now here i am going to discuss the static indeterminacy first and in the forthcoming video i will be discussing the kinematic indeterminacy also so static indeterminacy is related with calculations of reactions and calculations of internal forces <clears throat> now the static indeterminacy is the sum of external static indeterminacy and internal static indeterminacy external static indeterminacy is related with the support system or it is related with the reactions at the supports whereas the internal static indeterminacy is related with the determination of internal forces now ds that is the static indeterminacy is given as dse plus dsi as i have written it over here dse plus dsi so degree of static indeterminacy which is usually denoted by ds is equal to dse plus dsi dse is related with the determination of external reaction whereas the dsi is related with determination of internal forces now a given structure is said to be statically indeterminate if it cannot be completely analyzed with the help of available equations of equilibrium now as we know the structure is classified into three types basically skeletal structure surface structure and solid structure skeletal structure as the name suggests looks like a skeleton for example trusses building frames etc surface structure is a, a planar structure in which two dimensions are larger as compared to the third dimension say thickness and the example is slab and in case of solid structures all the three dimensions are important so it is a three dimensional structure for an example dams massive foundations etc 
Now, when a structure is to be analyzed, as I told you, the analysis includes the reactions, the internal forces, and displacement components. Now, here, if the surface structure and solid structure is to be analyzed, it involves higher mathematics and the theory of elasticity and theory of plasticity. Whereas skeletal structures can be analyzed with the help of elementary equations of mechanics. So analysis of skeletal structure is simple as compared to the analysis of surface and solid structures. Fortunately, most of the structures with which we deal can be idealized as a skeletal structure. And these skeletal structures are then further classified into <coughs> pin jointed structures and rigid jointed structures. So here the structures are broadly classified into two types. Now I am telling about the skeletal structures, pin jointed structures and the rigid jointed structures. Pin jointed structures are further classified into 2D structures that is plane structures and 3D structures that is space structures. So is the case with the rigid jointed structures also. Rigid jointed structures are also classified into two types that is plane rigid jointed structures and space rigid jointed structures. But here in order to determine the static indeterminacy, I am dividing or I am classifying the structures like this. So when we want to get the static indeterminacy and if <coughs> the convenient method is to be used, I am going to classify it like this. Beams, pin jointed structures, rigid jointed structures and hybrid structures. Now <coughs> you know the beam. Beam is generally a horizontal member which supports the vertical loading. Whereas pin jointed structure, all the joints are pin type of joints. So in case of pin jointed structures, out of the four actions, that is axial force, shear force, bending moment and twisting moment, the three actions are absent. And pin jointed structures carry only the axial forces in its members, provided all the members are straight and the forces, that is loads are applied at the joints. Whereas in case of rigid jointed structures, the all the actions may be present. Now hybrid structures are the structures in which some joints are pin joints, whereas some of the or remaining joints are rigid joints. So there are some joints which are pin and some joints are rigid joints. So this is how I am classifying the structures into four parts. Now beams, <coughs> DS again, one thing which is to be cleared is that now in case of the the structures, when the structures are to be analyzed and when it is a case of static indeterminacy, we will have to work out the reactions and internal forces. In, in order to get the reactions and internal forces, we will have to use the conditions of equilibrium. Now for plane structures, the number of equilibrium equations which are available is 3, whereas for space structures, the number of equilibrium equations which are available is 6. So for plane structures, it is 3. For space structures, equilibrium equations is 6. Now while getting the unknowns, while getting the unknowns, we will have to use the equations of equilibrium. If the number of unknowns are more than the number of equilibrium equations, then it becomes difficult to get the values of unknowns because generally, if n number of unknowns are there, we need n number of equations. So if the number of unknowns are more than the number of equilibrium equations, then the structure is said to be statically indeterminate. And in order to get the values of unknowns, we will have to consider some more equations which are called as compatibility equations. So here static indeterminacy is given as external static indeterminacy plus internal static indeterminacy. So to get DS, we will have to work out DSE and DSI. Now for beams, DSE is equal to R minus 3, 
because beam is a plane structure the number of equations which are available is 3 and that is why dsc is r minus 3 where r is the number of unknown reaction components so in all the plane structures plane structure spin jointed plane structure rigid jointed plane structure and the hybrid structure <coughs> which is a planar structure in all these cases dsc is r minus 3 here also dsc is r minus 3 dsc is r minus 3 so remember it well for plane structures whether it is a beam or pin jointed plane structure rigid jointed plane structure or hybrid structure in a plane in all these cases dsc is given as r minus 3 whereas dsi in case of beams dsi is zero because for any given beam if we work out the reactions then we can easily work out the internal forces that is shear force bending moment etc so nothing remains unknown as far as internal forces are considered in case of beams once we get the reactions and that is why for beams dsi is zero and for beams ds is equal to dsc for pin <coughs> jointed structures plane structures dsi is given as m minus 2j minus 3 2j minus 3 is the number of available equilibrium equations for space structures dsi is given as m minus 3j minus 3 for <coughs> the plane structures with rigid joints dsi is equal to 3c why it is 3c in case of plane structures and why it is 6c in case of the space structures that i am going to discuss in a separate video <coughs> and uh, you are supposed to go through that video also which will be the video next to this and then in case of hybrid structures dsi is given as 3c minus summation of m dash minus 1 whereas in case of space structures with hybrid joints or hybrid types of joints dsi is given as 6c minus summation of 3 m dash minus 1 c is the number of cuts in these cases whereas m dash is the number of members meeting at the given hybrid joint so here this is how the static indeterminacy of different structures can be worked out now i am going to explain how the actual static indeterminacy is to be worked out with the help of different typical problems so i am going to have three more videos in the first video i will be discussing the static indeterminacy of beams in the second video i am going to discuss the static indeterminacy of pin jointed structures and in the third video i will be discussing the static indeterminacy of rigid and hybrid joint structures so please stay connected and do subscribe to my channel